What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. Forgive me for this hairy grizzly man look. You know, I just been taking care of a lot of stuff lately. Been on the grind about a few things and you know, that haircut was actually the last thing that was on my mind. Now, as you could tell by this video, it is called How to Stop a Bully. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I was talking to a friend the other day and um, he's actually a driver for a company. And he was telling me how he had a passenger in his car that was just getting belittled by these two guys who was supposedly his friend. You know, it's kind of screwed up because, you know, real friends wouldn't talk to you that the way that these guys were talking to him. Now, pretty much what I got from him, the story is um, he actually picked the guy up from a wedding. Now, he was taking him home and then these two guys just randomly jumped into his car. So he, he told me that he looked around and he was telling them that they need to get out, you know. This ride's not for them. Even his passenger was telling them to get their own ride. And the guys was looking at him like, you know, whatever, man, this and that, F that, F you, this and that. And just like, you know, he could tell right away that it was nothing good about that situation. But the passenger said, it's okay, just take him home. They can come back to his place. So my friend started driving. While he was driving, these guys were still talking to him in a really disrespectful way. They was calling him a fat A. They were saying he needed to grow a pair. I mean, they were saying a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna say on this channel. Totally being disrespectful. You could tell, it don't matter that they were drunk. You could tell that they didn't have any respect for this guy that's supposedly with this friend. And they were also trying to have the driver go to another place that wasn't on his navigation or his set course. He was telling them like, no, like he's not gonna take him to a different course. Now, uh, the guy was getting mad. So what he did, he stopped his car on purpose. He jammed on the brakes. He told him like, if it won't, they can actually just get out and go walk to the place. Now after them being a little shocked by that, you know, they say it's cool they to go back to his house, yada, yada, yada. And at the time his passenger was just telling them like, hey, you guys need to grow up, you need to stop acting like this. Then he started ragging them again, calling him the same thing, just totally disrespecting him. And um, that's not cool, you know, that's not cool. Especially when you're in somebody else's car who's providing the service to somebody else and you're just in it for free. So he stopped the car again, so you know what, you, you could just walk there. And the passenger was really grateful to him. They were totally disrespectful to him. You know, that's not right. After that, the ride ended well, and the guy was definitely appreciative. You don't have to deal with people like that. These so-called friends are disrespecting you to the level that, that they were disrespecting this guy. Then you need to cut him off, cut him out your life. Cause these guys were pretty much bullying him. They literally had no respect for him. This can happen at your workplace. This can happen at your school. I mean, your child can be bullying somebody right now. You don't even know it because it could be something that's going on in your home. It's that serious nowadays. We hear about how these teenagers out here are committing suicide because how people are treating them on social media. I mean, even CNN reported back in 2008 how a nine-year-old committed suicide because he was being bullied. 12-year-olds committed suicide because they're being bullied. I mean, this is a serious case that, you know, it seemed like a lot of media is covering right now, but it don't seem like it's enough. And this is why I think Facebook is making some changes because they caught a lot of heat for, you know, privacy issues. But first, the changes need to happen at home. I mean, if you're getting calls from school that your kid is bullying someone, you need to um, correct your kid. Let's be honest right there. If your kid is the victim of being bullied, then you know what? Your kid needs to stand up to these bullies, just like my friend did for this guy. Because even though the guy tried to stand up for himself, these guys didn't care. They totally had a lack of respect for him. It wasn't until somebody else stood up for him that you see he wasn't going to take no crap from him that they actually backed down and they got out of his car with no incident. And you know, sadly, sometimes it happened like that. You know, sadly, sometimes other people need to step in for these bullies to back down. Because if they don't, the action is just going to keep continuing, continuing, continuing. And a lot of times people think they're bad until they meet somebody better and worse than they are. Like me personally, I'm not a confrontational guy. I actually try to stay away from confrontation for um, certain reasons. So if I have to, I would not hesitate to knock somebody off if I have to. If they're being totally disrespectful to me in that way. And if they even try to put their hands on me, I will defend myself. You know, just throughout the um, last few years, you know, I really learned that, you know, a lot of people just talk to talk. That, you know, it would not be no action behind these words. But if somebody actually trying to bully you and they put their hands on you, defend yourself. But if you can, also try to walk away. Defending yourself should always be a last resort. It's not legal just to go up and go shoot somebody in the kneecap. It may teach them a lesson, but, you know, you can actually get in trouble for that too. So, please do not take that as an idea. Like, if somebody thinks it's okay to touch your wife um, in an inappropriate way while you're there, feel free to knock the guy out. Because what he's doing is sexual harassment, it's bullying, and, you know, totally disrespectful. And these guys, like I said, sadly, 
don't back down or don't make a change until they meet somebody who can physically put them in a place. I'm not here to talk about you getting violent with somebody because they said something crazy to you or that's the only way to handle it because really it's not. You know, if them guys didn't get out my friend card, he could have easily called the police on them and let them deal with it. And you know, instead of this resorting to a physical altercation, sometimes just call the police, get them involved, and these guys will back down. Now they may try to make fun of you because you know you actually got the police involved. But you know what, man? Sometimes it's better to have the police get involved instead of you actually handling something yourself. Then you're getting caught up in a legal battle for a guy who actually deserved what he caught, but in the eyes of the law, you know, you actually committed possible assault. So like I said, with situations like that, always, always try to walk away first. But if you're back into a corner, definitely defend yourself. Fight like your life depends on it, because sometimes it may just be. Now Game of Thrones, is, I heard, was spending $15 million on an episode. Now I haven't watched Game of Thrones yet, I will be checking them out. But I guarantee you right now that the guy who left that Starbucks cup in the scene of the recent Game of Thrones episodes is getting attacked from every angle, from his crew members, from the audience. You know, this guy is definitely getting heat right now for that mistake. You and your team is getting paid $15 million per episode. With that much money on the line, you should definitely be checking and double checking your scenes. And at the same time, why didn't nobody catch this in post? And at the same time, why didn't nobody catch this in post? While you're editing, especially with some of these softwares that, um, you know, Hollywood Studios, they have special editing software. Like, they do not use Adobe Pro. They use higher paid, higher grade programs. And they could have easily had that removed. I guarantee you right now that he is getting bullied from every single angle possible right now. Just because you make a mistake like that, don't mean you deserve to get bullied. Or another person who may get bullied that it seems like everybody hates is honestly it's celebrities like Kim Kardashian or other celebrities like even Kanye West right now getting a lot of heat. And you know with Kim K, yes, she got famous doing something that a lot of people don't view as appropriate. But the thing is though, it's like, what was it, like 10, 15 years behind us now? Why are we still so mad at her making money off something that was 10, 15 years ago? Why are we still so mad at her becoming famous or actually handling that fame the way she did to catapult her and her family up to higher standards when really that's how it should be in life that her and her family can continue to build off of you hear stories about celebrities getting letters saying you know you should die or i want to kill you something like that and like it's so negative i mean they get bullied so much and a lot of people think it's a okay, walk, but i guarantee you mentally that's probably not the guy who actually directed ghost in the shell the live action movie with scarlett johansson in it this guy actually deactivated his Twitter account because he was getting so harassed, you know, getting bullied on Twitter because because of his vision of Ghost in the Shell. Now, honestly, I wasn't happy with it either. I am a huge Ghost in the Shell fan. I am an anime head, and I was not happy with how that film was portrayed. You know, for all the hate messages that he got, and you know, all the negativity that was coming his way, he actually deleted his Twitter account. And you know, that's not good, you know. You know, you should never have to feel the need to delete your account because somebody don't like your work. You know, it's not a perfect world, you know. You won't please everybody. And it's not the fault of these platforms. It's the people that are using these platforms. That's why I said earlier, I think Facebook is making some changes to help minimize that. You know, when somebody tells me that they're chasing something that they're passionate about, I tell them to go do it. And don't listen to anybody that's not with them. Because people who gave up on their dreams, a lot of times, will try to stop you from chasing yours and achieving yours. You know, it's like that whole crap in a bucket mentality. Once you're on your way out of that whole cesspool of negative energy, some people will try to pull you back. Some people will see you changing and they'll try to pull you back. They don't want you to become better. Once they say you start winning, they have to look in the mirror at themselves and see why are they in the same place that they was maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. So instead of actually, you know, facing their harsh reality, their own truth, they make sure or try to make sure that you don't reach your goals, you don't reach your success. So you could be miserable with them. And so y'all can have something in common. And that's when you got to break that chain. You know, sometimes you have to change the people that you surround yourself with. You know, sometimes you have to cut off some family members. Or sometimes you just need to get away from people in general. You know, just have some time to yourself, you know, that you could think. That you can help find yourself, you know, soul searching. You know, go meditate or something, you know. go Just go away for a weekend if you can. Or just go away for a few hours, you know. Just get away from everybody. Just take a deep breath. And just focus on what you want to do. Because I guarantee you, what you want to do 
is more important to you than it is to anybody else. So pretty much guys, the take of this video is, I want you to become a better person. If you want these people out here being negative, please try to change your own mindset. Go find people that can help positively uplift you. You know, go read a book. You know, go find positive messages on YouTube, you know, positive content. You know, they had that on there. I did that search before. You know, it's not going to be a huge mental change overnight. You know, it's just going to be baby steps. You know, it may just come from complimenting somebody once a day. You know, that could be the start of it. Or, you know, just getting up, looking outside the window, you know, and say, you know what? It's going to be a good day. Just baby steps like that every single day can actually help you reach your goal faster. Instead of just trying to make one major change overnight. So okay guys, that's all I have to say for today. Now what I'd like for you to do is actually smash that like button. Leave a comment. If you want to know anything, just let me know. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.